hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making some centerpieces from scratch i wanted a more flatter base um versus using like the floor lamp that i used in my previous video so i have some leftover plywood that i'm using and i'm cutting it down to seven inches next time i think i may do six inches so it's a little bit more um smaller so, but i did seven inches all the way around um, and once I had it cut, I am using the jigsaw. And this is, I believe, what it's called. But it's a jigsaw, but it's a certain word or something like that. But I'm cutting them down. Have my nephew here helping me. And again, it was seven inches going all the way around. And I think the six inches, the seven inches is not that big when you see. But the six inches, I think, would have been a nice size. Because I don't want to go through the hassle of trying to use the balloons. Even though if you see the base, it, it will look clean. I don't want to try to use so many balloons when I'm trying to hide the base. So now that I have a cut to where I like it, I'm making an X in the middle. So I know um, an X in the middle so I know where to place my metal flange that I will be using to attach to the base. Um, so I'm just making X's on all of them going around and this is the metal flange it's a half inch metal flange if you see my what video is that um my arch stand video when i was um taking it down i mentioned the parts on that one so this is where um i'm using the flange from that so I end up, I was using the wrong bit as far as trying to drill a hole. So you can screw the metal flange on top if you, you know, if you want, it'll be easier, of course, with a screw. Me, I was difficult and I wanted to use like a, um, like one, a carriage bolt coming up, even though I end up changing the actual nail that I use. So I'm trying to put a hole going straight through the plywood so I can be able to put a screw or whatever I decided so it can go through the actual hole and connect on both ends and close it up versus the screw because I know sometimes screws over time can become loose. So the screw the, the screws that I originally bought, the carriage bolt, it was made a little, as you see, it had a little space at the bottom because it's not flat against it. So I ended up returning them and finding other screws that I was able to use. And it kind of closed the screw up from the bottom and the top. So it was nothing poking out, which I end up, I love that I ended up switching it. So this is what I actually end up buying. And you have to be careful when you put these on because if you twist it too much, I'm a little heavy handed. So if you twist it too much, it can break the, you know, the screw. Um, so just twist it just when it get tight and stop. Don't try to twist it anymore. And this close it from the bottom and the top, which I really like that I end up finding these because I, it, when you look through, you don't see anything poking at the top with the carriage bolts that I was originally going to go with. And it's going to be flat to the table as well. So I'm attaching all of these. And I basically got this idea from the stand. Um, and then on here, I have a cupping, which is a half an inch. It's called adapter. And I'm going to link everything I use in the description box. So before I attach the PVC pole, I'm putting some E6000 glue because I just want to be extra secure with the centerpiece i don't want to like pick it up and it pulls out for any reason and this is a pvc a half an inch as well and it's cut to uh two and a half inches i feel like that was a perfect height and this is the spray paint i'll be using i didn't want to go with like your regular white i wanted something that was just a little bit more neutral because i do plan on reusing these and I have two baby showers coming up, one a boy, one a girl. So I thought this color just would be perfect. I, again, I didn't want to do white. And this is the final result, you guys. Stay tuned for the next video where you'll see how I'll be making the actual centerpieces that will be going on these. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, check out the description box. Don't forget to subscribe.